A fairly large hall in central London was filled to the brim this week by people eager to tackle the scourge of Islamophobia in the United Kingdom. The evening served as the launch of the so-called Defend the Muslim Community campaign. It's the brainchild of a coalition of organizations, including Stop the War, members of parliament and leading national figures. So we think it's time for people who want equality in this country, who don't want racism and who don't want to attacks on the Muslim community to speak out and to organise a campaign, which we hope will, tonight will be a successful launch of this. This debate, this furore about, about, uh, Islam, about the, the Muslim threats, it, it, is, it is political. It is intended to silence, it is intended to, to domesticate, it is intended to uh, create a certain type of thinking and no other. And, and what we are determined to do is to ensure that people think outside of the box. Since the terror attacks of 9-11 and 7-7, British Muslims have increasingly become the focus of attention and mistrust. From high-profile anti-terror arrests to xenophobic misrepresentations in the mass media. But the recent European election results and the seats worn by the far-right British National Party have taken this to the next level. Compared to the rest of Europe, the campaigns against Islamophobia are certainly quite strong in the United Kingdom, but recent events have jolted people into having meetings like this, particularly the election of two BNP members in the recent elections. And those seats were won by the BNP on a specific anti-Muslim campaign agenda. We see that Islam is a threat to this country because, uh, you know, our people, white indigenous people, they're not having children. Well, even at replacement level, because everybody is deciding to put themselves first and not their family, not their neighborhoods, not their communities, and not this nation. It's statements like this that organizers of this conference say are deeply worrying. In recent years, Muslims have been a particular target of the BNP. They've been um, riding off the back of Islamophobia and targeting, uh, targeting Muslims in, in Britain and across Europe, in much the same way as Hitler targeted Jews in the 1930s in Germany. So uh, we feel it's very important uh, for anti-fascists to, to take a strong line against all forms of racism, including racism against Muslims. The Defend the Muslim Community campaign promises broad-based public confrontations to tackle this worrying trend in coming weeks and months. Farina Alam, Press TV, London.